Hey everybody, um, the today's video is going to be a what I have purchased during quarantine video and I am almost ashamed to show this to you. It's going to be um, cosmetics, so what cosmetics I've purchased in quarantine. Um, the video is going to take place over a couple days so you may see me in different outfits, maybe with my makeup on, um, just because the packages that I'm getting are coming at different rates. Um, so I have purchased from Salon Centric and Cosmoprof, which are um, hairdresser only stores, hairdresser fulfillment stores. I also ordered from Ulta and Sephora, and because I'm still receiving packages from Ulta and Sephora, I figured it would be best to wait until I get at least most of them, and then we could film that part of the video. Um, so I'm going to first start with Cosmo, because I only got one thing from Cosmo. As you can see, I've been uh, maintaining my rose gold hair, so I purchased two of the Moroccan Oil Rose Gold Color Depositing Masks, and I'm obsessed with it. It says it's for light blonde to medium blonde hair, and... Um, it's recommended that you leave it on for like five minutes. Honestly, I leave it on for 20 um, with a hair cap on. And then I just rinse it out and it becomes what it is. This is after one wash. Um, and I wash my hair every like five days in quarantine just because it doesn't get as, wrink as wrinkly. Yeah, good job. It doesn't get as oily because I'm not going outside. Um, and then everything else you're about to see is from Salon Centric, which is my job. Um, so right before quarantine started, I purchased one of my favorite things that I've purchased. It's the Hemp's Triple Moisture um, Body Lotion. I am obsessed with this. I told myself in December, I made myself like a mood board of all the things I wanted to accomplish in 2020. Um, and what I, not like goals, but actual things that I was going to do instead of like, my goal this year is to lose weight and I just don't. Like I really wanted to live through what I wanted to do. So um, one of my goals was self care. Um, I don't typically, I work a lot, so I try not to like spend too much time on myself. Um, but something I've been struggling with this year is um, psoriasis due to like allergies and things like that. So um, I found that lotion is very calming and my skin gets a lot less dry. This one is so nice. It doesn't get sticky when you apply it um, and it dries really, really fast. I feel very moisturized after I'm done using it and I use it all over my body, just not on my face. So this has been awesome. I would definitely recommend all the hemp lotions, um, no matter the scent or whatever. And their hand sanitizer is really good too. It doesn't dry out my hands. Um, next thing I got was these lashes. These are the Ardell Faux Mink Wispies and I am obsessed with these. If you know me, let's see if we can find them. Obviously, you know that I like to wear bold lashes. Well, they're not in here, but here's a pair just in case. You forgot, I love to wear lashes. I think that they're awesome. The bigger, the better, honestly. Um, these are pretty natural as to like what I typically wear. Um, so I'm very excited. I actually like these because it gives me like a little something without being like my Miami lashes which I like a lot but I like a lot so it's it's just like a lesser version um I also got two of each of these um because they are so great and this one the purple one smells so good um this is the Pureology Superfood Hydrate um treatment and this one is the Pureology Strength Cure Superfood treatment this one is more meant for like blondes um that one smells okay. Was, this one smells fun. Um, this one is meant for blondes, and because this under here is blonde, my hair has been a little crispy, so um, this is to kind of help with that. This has never made my hair feel softer in my entire life. Has my ever hair felt so soft after using this? So I bought two of each of these um, because there's only an ounce in there, and I have a lot of hair, so at least I could get like at least four uses. Um, so I'm very excited about those. Um, Next from Salon Centric, I um, have been loving these Shade ZQ toners. Um, if you are a hairdresser, I would definitely recommend these. They're uh, Redken Shade ZQ. This is in the color Pastel Pink, and this is um, 8VRO. So I've been mixing these two together before I started doing the Moroccan Oil Mask to get my rose gold. Um, it turned out really great. My um, friend Steph did my hair, which was really cool, and it turned out really awesome. Um, I do like the way the rose gold mask makes my hair feel and look but in the in-between if I don't want to waste the mask I can just use the toner and it'll give my hair um 
but because it's a gloss, it'll give my hair some shine and it'll look really nice. Um, and then the last thing I got from Salon Centric is actually one of my favorite products that I had originally purchased at Sephora, but um, because I do get a little bit of a bigger discount at Salon Centric only on this product, I bought it there. Um, this is the Grande Lips Lip Plumper hydrating lip plumper. I'm literally going to apply some now. It is my favorite lip plumper of all time. As you guys know from my last video, you saw me using this and the Too Faced um, Lip Injection Extreme. And I'm going to reiterate that the difference between the two is that this one is um, for longer lasting results. So the Too Faced Lip Injection like obviously makes your lips tingle and burn and it gets red or whatever this one is very nice it doesn't tangle doesn't burn but I definitely have seen overall a difference in my upper lip um, with volume while using this so I am obsessed if you apply it twice a day you're supposed to see long lasting results um, so I bought it because I ran out and it was really devastating um, but yeah that's all I have from salon centric and Cosmo so tune back in in a little bit and I'll tell you all about my Sephora and Ulta purchases all right, so I'm back for the Ulta and Sephora part of my video. I'm wearing makeup and I actually changed my hair color. So a lot's changed from last video. That's okay. Um, I did it like a purpley, ashy lavender and I love it. Um, but let's get into what I got at Ulta during quarantine. Um, my recent package that just came in the mail, which I've been like super excited for, but like not too excited. You're going to hear that. In the background it's it is what it is quarantine things i bought um the florence have we met starter kit um florence by mills is millie bobby brown's makeup line and i just like for me personally i have an issue with people who have a lot of money making makeup if they have like no idea how to do it and that's my own personal opinion and like I'm not trying to come from Millie Bobby Brown because her brand is awesome it's successful and like good for her um she has a very young market um, which is awesome and she sells to them great but like for me it's like if you want to be educated on makeup like you should be educated but like don't I don't even know how to say it like Rihanna for example Rihanna has always been like in fashion and stuff like that like no wonder she came out with Fenty but like Millie Bobby Brown is an actress and then all of a sudden bam Florence is born so it's kind of like okay interesting but I'm not gonna shit on her or her stuff because I haven't tried it so this has the moisturizer the face chill mist and the clean face wash it's a little kit really cute like $20 so I'm gonna give it a try because I do not want to talk poorly upon something I have never tried so I'm excited to give that a go I also um, I'll start with the things that I kind of got like earlier in quarantine. Um, 21 Days of Beauty at Ulta happened. So I got these Too Faced Born This Way powder. I got two. I got one in the shade Nude and one in the shade Snow. I was going to put the Nude one in my professional makeup kit and uh, the Snow is my actual color. And then I realized that Nude is my color when I have my spray tans. Um, so I'm going to keep them and buy more um but it's actually really nice I like it a lot I've been using it and I am like honestly not a fan of face powders I just use like translucent powder so this is something I was really interested um and excited to try and then I bought this mascara because I saw it on an article um from the, like the bachelor of Maddie Pruitt uses this mascara and that's why her like eyelashes look like that and I have to tell you like she has to prime them or something because this mascara like did not do it for me. Um, it's the Maybelline Lash Stiletto. I tried it like a more than a handful of times and it just like didn't give me that stick eyelash what I want. So we're going to keep playing with it and see kind of like how it works, but I'm not super impressed with it. Something I am super impressed with though, um, and I have like said it um, to all my coworkers so far and everything is uh, the Kapari CBD deodorant. <sighs> I am freaking obsessed with this. It doesn't have a super strong smell and it kind of just honestly smells like a plant, but I'm super excited about this because for me personally, I shave my underarms more frequently than um, others and I always, 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 always get cuts or um, ingrown hairs. This is the only deodorant I have ever used, natural and not natural. I've been using natural deodorants for about like since high school. Um, so this 
doesn't burn my arm armpits at all. It doesn't burn, it doesn't sting, it doesn't make me feel any type of way. Um, it's very soothing, very hydrating, and I haven't peeled in my armpits. I do suffer from psoriasis, so sometimes that can happen. I just like shout this out like to the heavens. I've tried the regular Kapari and it was okay, I liked it, but it still kind of like stung my underarms um, and I think that's because it was like scented. This is like still natural but it has CBD so it's definitely going to help and I am up. So yeah, um, I also bought two um, self tan pads. Um, the other one's in my bathroom, I already used it. They're mitts for your body um, just because I ran out and I've been doing a lot of self tanning. I also bought two, uh, that's a, a theme you'll see a lot, the uh, Catrice Cosmetics Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. So it looks clear and then you shake it up and it has like those beautiful shimmery sparkles. So I actually use this in my regular makeup routine, but I also use it for my brides, which is why I purchased two. Um, I love it. You can prime with this. You can set with this. Um, it is more of like preparing the skin. I set with it and it still does a really great job. Um, again, it can be used for both. It smells so good and I love it. And I actually have a bottle. You can see I, I've gotten through like five. Like I just love it. It smells great. It's awesome. Um, that one and the ColourPop one I showed in a previous video like are both of my favorites. Um, but these I do use on brides. So I did stock up. They also had a sale on those. They were like $4, which is awesome. Um, they also had a sale on Paw Paw, which I have just discovered. It's like a balm. It says multi-purpose soothing balm with natural paw paw for lips, skin, hair, beauty finishes, and cuticles. This one's fragrance free. They're both fragrance free, but this one is tinted. Um, I put this on my psoriasis and it calmed it immediately. I've been putting it around my cuticles because I get a lot of hangnails and it's dry there. I really liked it. This one I put on my lips and it gives a little tint, but it's almost like Vaseline or um, I would say a little lighter than Vaseline and a little lighter than um, Vasotracin. Not sticky. I really like it a lot. I'm going to continue to use it because um, I haven't used it like a whole lot, but like you can use it on cracked skin, like elbows, knees, things like that. So I'm really excited about that. And then the last thing I purchased from Ulta, again, in two, because they were on sale, is the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub in Tropical Mango. This one smells so fantastic. I rave about it all the time. It's the only scrub I use. Um, I have very sensitive skin and it's funny because this is like externally fragrant, I'm sure, but it works for me. It has shea butter in it. It doesn't make me feel itchy or anything. It really gets the dead skin off. And again, I use this before I um, spray tan um, or use self tanner. So I love it a lot and that went on the sale too. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about that. That's all my stuff from Ulta. And now let's move on to Sephora. So I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not ashamed of everything that I've bought from Sephora. And mind you, I am so grateful to have been paid through this, um, whole time. And I haven't been wasting my money on buying products. Like I want it to be known that I have been going to doctor's appointments and paying my bills and Okay, anyway, I have been using my money smart and um, this is just money that I save aside in order to spend. Um, I actually limit myself to what I'm supposed to spend. I do go on my limit a little bit, but it's okay. And uh, it's a big box cut. It's really heavy and I'm not sorry. Um, so let's just start with like a couple things uh, I already kind of wanted and then some things that were on sale, so I bought. Um, so first thing I wanted in the first place was this candle. It's by Volupspa, Volupspa. It's Spice Goji uh, Taraka Orange. It smells so freaking good. We had this for holiday and they're like $27. It went on sale for $13.50 and I do get a discount at Sephora. So mind you, everything in this box was discounted for me specifically. So uh, it is, I did not spend as much money as I would have if I bought it full price. Um, and again, I am grateful that Sephora was able to keep me um, on the team. So I got this candle. I love it. I also brought, bought my brother one that smells like pine trees. So that was awesome. And also they had um, mimicked the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. So I kind of got some stuff from that. Um, I got, again, two of these because when they're on half off sale, you have to buy more. You have to get a lot of them. So the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads, um, I bought two of these. I've tried the Sephora collection ones. Um, 
Oh my god, I'm sorry. There's cat hair like in my nose. I've tried the Sephora collection peel pads and I really like them, but I hadn't really noticed a huge difference. And then I started using these and I noticed a bigger difference. So I bought two of these and I'm excited to use them. Also during that sale, um, I bought this for my kit. Um, this is the Naked Reloaded palette. It was half off and then um, I purchased it. So I was really excited to be able to get that for my kit. Um, I've been struggling to find like a good like small palette with neutral colors in it most of my neutral browns are like neutral brown orange um so i got this palette because that one's like an orange but see these here that's brown 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 straight brown so um i'm excited to be able to add that to my kit um and anything i add to my kit i don't transfer out and use it on myself um, i keep it very separate and i do not transfer makeup um from my kit to my home all right, so let's kind of stick with the theme of First Aid Beauty for now. Um, I have always wanted to try their KP Bump Scrub, um, and they came out with a mini size, so I bought it. Um, KP, I read somewhere it's called like the chicken skin disease. It's like when you get little bumpies on your skin and they don't go away. I suffer from that on my arms, legs, and other parts of my body, so I was like, well, I'll try it, give it a go, because the other scrub that I have doesn't exactly work just as well i mean it scrubs my skin but this has uh, active ingredients like ahas to like more exfoliate the skin chemically um so i also then bought the full size because i loved the little one so much um and you go through this kind of quick so i've been trying to use like a little less of it um every other shower so i got those um then I purchased because they went on sale and I can't ignore sale. I'm really bad at ignoring sales and uh, I'm really bad at spending my paycheck at Sephora. Um, I got the Milk Makeup Kush Lip Balm and this one's tinted. It's in the shade Bubble. But because they were on sale, I also bought the original. And wait for it, there's more. Because the Milk Makeup Lip Balms, all of them were on sale, I bought the Lip Glaze. So I have three now. <laughs> I don't need any of them. I have so many lip balms, but you know, I can't ignore a sale and I've never tried them. Like I've sampled them, but I've never like actually took them home and tried them. So, um, yeah, next on my thing, we'll go with Sephora collection. I bought a lot from Sephora collection. Um, I bought, okay, this is like one of my favorite things ever and I've been using them before the quarantine. So I just kind of like restocked. I have to tell you, these are the greatest things that I've ever eaten, um, vitamin wise. This is the Ollie, um, and Sephora collection, goodbye stress, stay calm and stay alert gummies when I, I suffer from major anxiety I get panic attacks I get high blood pressure or whatever so um high heart rate so you should definitely try these if you're feeling a little stressed um they have totally helped me and they don't like make you tired they just make you calm which is really nice um because a lot of things for anxiety kind of make me drowsy um so this keeps me awake but it just kind of chills me out and kind of clears my head so I can just think and do the situation how it needs to be done instead of with anxiety I also purchased the um, Bedtime Beauty Ollie and Sephora Collection gummies. They're for sleeping. Um, they do have melatonin in them, and I have been having a really hard time sleeping in quarantine, so I'm giving these a try, and they're working pretty well. Then I bought a bunch of masks from Sephora Collection. It's like a bucket or something. I don't know. First, I bought the Coconut Water Sleeping Mask. Um, you apply it when you go to sleep, leave it on overnight, rinse it off. Um, they're discontinued. I just like them a lot. So if they're on the website, I'm like, oh, I'm going to buy them. I'm going to use them. Um, I also bought the Sephora Collection Eye Mask and Cucumber. It's for soothing and depuffing. I swear if you put these in the fridge, they work wonders. Um, they're cooling. They're going to be cold in the fridge. They depuff really well. Um, and they're 15 minutes on, 15 minutes after you throw them away. So it's really awesome. Um, I also bought foot sleeping masks. Well, they're not sleeping masks, they're foot masks. I bought them more for my mom um, because I'm allergic to almonds and they're almond. Um, but then I also bought myself an avocado hand mask just because with all the hand sanitizer I've been putting on my hands and the amount of times I've been washing my hands, I've been getting really dry. So I did buy myself a hand mask to treat myself. In the last couple, sorry, my camera cut off. But the last couple things I bought from Sephora collection, I bought, um, Sephora collection, I'm like a sucker for anything Sephora, I swear. It's really bad. And last Christmas, I won the award most likely to spend your paycheck at Sephora, and that's very accurate. And you can see that from this video. Sephora came out with um, All Over Solid Cleanser, like literally a bar soap. I have never used a bar soap in my life, but I bought two of them <laughs> because they were so cute. And 
they smell really good and I'm gonna give them a try because I bought them and <laughs> yeah so I got coconut and cactus um that's that's a thing I also bought this um actually we'll show you these these are really awesome actually and I like them a lot they are little clips they look like this they're paddles so um when you do your makeup there I go dropping one when you do your makeup you just clip your hair backwards away from your face obviously and it does not dent your hair so if you have already curled or straightened your hair um these are really awesome because they don't ruin your style um and i really like them a lot they're like eight dollars or something uh retail so i like those a lot the last thing i got from sephora collection uh sephora collection just relaunched their pro and regular brushes um so go check those out i got a dual ended brush one end is a spoolie the other end is a uh, angled brushes for your eyebrows and this is perfect to tag along into the next product I bought, uh, which is the new Major Brow Patrick Ta Shaping Wax. So it's basically like um, I, a lot of like other, other, it's called brow soap, basically, uh, like a soap box. Ha! Huh? So um, it just looks like this. It's little, it's hard. You have to activate it with some setting spray. And then you, it's literally like a bar of soap. You rake it through your eyebrows and it makes them look more bushy and natural and laid out. So I'm super excited to try this. Patrick Ta is one of my favorite makeup artists. And I actually got to Zoom call with him, which was really cool. So shout out to Sephora for that because that made my whole life. Um, then I also bought the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in Mocha to try for cream contouring. And I have to tell you, I've been using this for the past couple days and loving it absolutely loving it it looks amazing um it's really smooth for application and it just looks really snatched so i've been liking that a lot then the last three things i purchased because i've been really wanting them and i've been not wanting to spend my money on them it was actually funny because in my last video i had said like oh that powder is really expensive and i bought it because you know i deserve to treat myself and this is like my one splurge so i purchased the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. Uh, my shade is in the shade Cream. So it is a very concentrated formula of foundation, obviously in a stick form. It looks like this. I used it the other day and I loved it. Um, I cannot say negative things about it. I did use it when I was like 16. I purchased it for myself like on a whim. I'm sorry, what that's bothering me. Okay, well I purchased it on a whim and um, I had oily skin back in the day. I was literally like a grease ball, so it didn't work for me. And now that I'm so dry, this like what look, works really nice. It looks beautiful. Um, and to tie along with that, I did buy the Hourglass Veil Primer. I'm sorry, Veil Translucent Setting Powder. Uh, and it's so beautiful. Like I've only used it the one time, so I can't really. I mean, obviously I've used it in the store, but um, and it's beautiful. But I've only used it the one time at home, so I want to keep playing around with it. But I can almost say confidently that I might like it a little better for my skin type than the Laura Mercier, which is something like really big for me to say. But the last thing I purchased myself from Sephora that I have in this room <laughs> is the um, perfume. It's Burberry Her. It's in a roller size bowl. This is, um, it came out, I want to say it was like relatively new um, in the couple months before quarantine. I absolutely love it. It smells delicious. Um, it doesn't really say what the notes are on it, so I can't exactly tell you. But it kind of smells um, like a sweeter, like almost like gourmet, but then floral. So I really like it a lot, and uh, I have it on right now, and I, I really like it. I'm glad I treated myself to that. The last item that I have purchased from Sephora, theoretically, because I will purchase more um, in this time, so that's fine is um, I ordered the Lord Jones CBD lotion and I'm really excited to put that on my arm because it gets like sore. And um, I also have like muscle and nerve issues. So I'm hoping that it'll help, um, but it's in the living room. It came in the mail today and I am way too lazy to show you. It's just body lotion. It was 30% off um, on Sephora's website. Um, so I'm just really excited to have try it. And I'm blessed to um, be able to try all this stuff and comment down below what you're excited to see me review. Um, and if you want me to review specific products, um, I will be really glad to do that. So thanks for tuning in. I'm sorry about all like the background sounds and things. You know, we are in quarantine. I do have other people in my house. So again, thank you for tuning in and I will see you another time.